Member. I call the member for right. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I bring good news to this Parliament. <laughs> good news in the way of a rising sports and athletic star in the way of young Riley Day. Riley, who was in year 12 at Bow Desert High School, ran in the Australian uh, in the Australia recently for the Nitro Athletic Series in Melbourne just on Saturday. She came second in the women's 150 sprint just behind an Olympic semi-finalist, which was the calibre of the athletes that were at the Nitro Athletic Series. Riley also had the pleasure of running against Usain Bolt's all-star team and got to run in the second leg of the lane next to Bolt himself, a memorable occasion for her. It's been the talk of the town in Bow Desert. Every crowd, everyone sat around their televisions uh, on Saturday to cheer the local girl on. Uh, Riley gave it her all and, as a community, we're extremely proud of her. She'll run for Australia again in the second round of the series tomorrow, and I'm sure the cheers will just be as loud for our little local hero. Uh, the finals, which are already sold out, are on Saturday, and I know that at least a few of our Bow Desert local residents have managed to uh, nab tickets and have taken the opportunity to fly down to watch her live. Uh, she'll back up next week as well, flying down here to Canberra to take on the nation's best at the ACT State Championships. Uh, once the excitement of the Nitro Series and the ACT State Championships are over, Riley will run at full throttle uh, for her next goal, which will be to represent the country at the Commonwealth Games in the Bahamas in July. What an incredible experience uh, for a 16-year-old girl from Bow Desert. Uh, as a community, we could not be more proud of the little champion, Order. and we wish her the best.